Okay, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy Samsung products. In fact, I used the S9 Plus as my daily phone for about three months, over anything from Apple or any other company. But the way that Samsung is marketing itself right now is toxic. For a bit of context, as the two largest rivals in the lucrative smartphone market, Samsung and Apple have been locking horns for some time now. But whilst Apple's smartphone marketing has tended to stick to highlighting the benefits of their own phones, Samsung is taking stab after stab at the iPhone, and it's not a good look. In fact, in the last eight months, Samsung has made no less than nine commercials solely targeted at the iPhone. Take this one, called Ingenious Speed. This lady comes to an Apple store and is disappointed when she finds out that the Galaxy S9 can support 5G gigabit speeds, but the iPhone X can't. And the video isn't wrong, I'm not saying that Samsung is explicitly lying here, but they are definitely implying things that just aren't true. First of all, while yes, the S9 theoretically can support these faster speeds, and its Qualcomm modem is known to be capable of slightly higher bandwidth, a total of zero carriers right now can actually take advantage of those 5G speeds. And the bandwidth difference and how much the average user will actually notice this is negligible. Not to mention, in this video, they are literally explicitly comparing their own 2018 flagship to Apple's 2017 one. And we're pretty sure that Apple's 2018 lineup is going to bring the iPhones back up to speed. So really, this is a bit like Samsung saying, ha, we were the first to release our phones. But then on top of that, as you can see by the title of the video, by having this one very slight advantage, Samsung is almost trying to make it seem like the S9 is faster than the iPhone X. Whereas in actuality, whether it's CPU performance, GPU performance, how well games perform, the iPhone X is more powerful. And this is not an isolated example. Samsung shows the Galaxy Note 8 on a wireless charging pad, while the poor iPhone 8 user is having to use a two-way dongle to charge his phone while also listening to music. Again, the core point here is not incorrect. If you're an iPhone 8 user and you do want to charge your phone with a cable whilst also listening to wired earphones, you do have to use a two-way splitter. But what they haven't made clear here is that the iPhone 8 also supports wireless charging. And so this guy shouldn't have actually needed to use this proprietary splitter at all. They then proceeded to compare their latest S9 Plus flagship to not the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 10, but the iPhone 6. Their second commercial titled Moving On shows a girl who wants to upgrade from her iPhone 6 to a Galaxy S9 Plus. And that's fine, that's a fairly normal situation, but to then use this girl's iPhone 6 to imply things about iPhones in general, like the idea that they take longer to load things up, is kind of disingenuous. And here's the thing, people aren't stupid. These videos have a lot of likes, sure, they're kind of funny, but at the same time they have a lot of dislikes, presumably all from people who've realised how stretched they are. And even me, I've never in my life made a rant video before, and I'll normally be the first person to appreciate some humour in a market that, let's just say, could do with a little bit more. But even I would say that Samsung is being a little bit heavy-handed here. They haven't just attacked Apple here their competitor, but also Apple's customers. Showing this man with his notched haircut to make fun of Apple's notch is really trying to make the people who buy iPhones look stupid. And I think that's crossing a line. It's almost making Samsung look like a bully in this situation. And it's not like this was a one-off thing. After making it once, they then created a new trailer featuring this man and his notched son, which was then followed by one featuring his wife too. I feel like if they'd done it once, we could have just let it slide, but now it just seems like Samsung is just going out their way to continue making the same joke. So, if you think about where this leaves Samsung, it's not pretty. By attacking not just Apple, but their users too, Samsung is coming off as the aggressor here. And what makes it worse is that the figures tell most of the story anyway. iPhones sell like crazy, even more than Samsung's phones. So the way they're acting almost makes Samsung look not like they're dominating the market and pushing Apple around, but more like they're just being salty about it. And again, to reiterate, I'm a big fan of Samsung products, but if you look at the tone of their marketing, where they're throwing around terms like growing up, it's not coming across as a humble company that you'd want to buy into. To be clear, it's not like Apple is completely innocent when it comes to targeting. Their famously successful I'm a Mac ad campaign helped to really bring down Windows PCs back in 2006, but it just feels like since then, Apple's marketing has matured to focus on themselves and making their own products look better, whereas Samsung seems to have gone the other way. Apple could well have made their own set of ads, showing Samsung customers with exploding heads, but the fact that they haven't, almost gives them a bit of a moral high ground. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think it's all completely fine because it's all a big joke? Or do you agree that Samsung is maybe taking it a little bit too far? Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, if you're new around here, if you could smash that subscribe button, 
That'd be amazing. My name is Aaron, this is Mr. Who's the Boss, and I'll catch you guys next time.